Hello, my front end friends. The other day on the CSS subreddit, I saw this question come up where someone was asking why a child element with a height as a percentage wasn't working when the min height of the parent was set to 100 VH. And this got me thinking about all the times I've seen this question come up from people asking me in my DMs to on my Discord server. And just in general, it's something that I seem to be answering all the time. So I thought, why not talk about it in a video since it seems to be so common. And then also going forward, I don't have to re-explain myself. I can just link to this video. So it's a little bit selfish, but hopefully it helps you out as well. So let's dive into this. And we're going to do that by diving into this little demo that I've made right here, uh, where we have this very sad height as a percentage that is, that is sad because he's not working. And so for this one, let's let's move on over to here. And you can see I, well, I have my section, it has a hero class, and then I have my H1. And then let's go over to here and I have a min height of 75 VH. And then I have a height of 50% that's clearly not working. And I'm doing this on an H1. This could be a div or a section or whatever. It doesn't matter really what it is. It just matters that this is a direct child and it's not working. Now let's take this and go to height 75 and all of a sudden it does work. Well, why does that work? But this doesn't work. That's really frustrating, right? Uh, and min height is definitely the safer option. If you're going to set a height on something, usually I recommend min height. Uh, but then of course this this sort of breaks and that can be, you know, why is this happening? So the reason this is happening is well, let's figure out why this is working. If I do a height of 75 VH, well, this height is 50% of this number. That makes sense, right? What if I take this off though? What if we don't have a height? Well, and you know what, let's come in here and let's actually take off this dark blue, just so we don't even see that. And you can see that my hero area is right here and it's it's it has a height to it. Well, and if it, let's come in here and actually take this H1 out and there's no content. Well, now there's actually, my hero is still there, but there's no height to it because there's no content inside of it. And let's just come here and grab a couple of paragraphs that I can copy there and paste into here. And now we have more height. And that's happening because the height of an element is defined by default by the content that's inside of it. And that also can be changed based on the screen size, which is usually why we want a min height, right? So if I open my dev tools here in responsive mode, uh, and just in case you don't know, the responsive mode in Chrome is this little guy right here, and it's pretty easy. It's very similar in Firefox. Um, as well. And as you know, as the content has less horizontal space, we need more vertical space and everything just adjusts. And that's really good. And that's one of the reasons we often don't want a height of 75, because if I do a height of 75 at one point, I can end up getting overflow. So that we fix that by saying a min height. And then we know that it's going to work at all the different screen sizes, where even as we get to these smaller screen sizes, we can see that it's not overflowing. My hero is just growing in space. But that's the reason that min height is actually a problem. We need this height has to be defined. And that's the reason everything jumped there when I did the height is just because this is now 50%. But this number here is working if this has a set height. If the browser knows how big this is, then this can work. If I do not have a height on something, then this h1 is part of what's defining the height of this element. But if this is defining the height of this element, but this element is then defining this one, because this is a percentage, that creates a loop, right? <laughs> so this is defining the height of this, which is defining the height of this, which is defining the height of this, and it would crash your browser. So instead, it, you know, browsers are smart and they don't want to crash whenever there's a little bit of bad code. So in this case, what's happening is the browser is going, well, 50% of an undefined number is nothing, so I'm not going to actually do anything with this because right now I have an undefined height. If I have a defined height, it can work because this will never change. It's always 75 VH. The browser can calculate that. If I have a min height of 75 VH though, that can change, right? We saw that when I shrunk this down at one point that teal background is growing and shrinking. So we have a defined height sometimes, <laughs> which isn't good enough for the height to work here. So we cannot have a min height and then a height defined in a percentage. There is one exception to this and it's if you bring grid into it, but it gets kind of weird and it just introduces a lot of potential for overflow. Um, and it would actually sort of muck things up if I tried doing it right now, because with grid, this 50% would be based on the cell that it's inside of and no longer based on the parent. So if it's the only element, anyway, it gets kind of weird and I've seen a lot of problems using that as a potential solution to fix this. So I'm not even really gonna get into it right now. Uh, but the main thing is, if I know this is 75 VH, you know, we can just do that divide by two. Uh, so that's what, 37.5 VH. I can do that math myself. <laughs> so uh, if that's the case and you really need that, now, of course, this isn't a height now, maybe you'd even want that to also be a min height. 
just to prevent any issues from coming up. So if you have a set number here, you could just set a min height on that element or a height on that element, taking sort of the percentage that you'd want to take. That's sort of the simple fix. And in general, a lot of the time, I feel like we don't really need heights anyway, but this is just like, if you really need to have it, um, you could do it that way. Or if you wanted to, you set it all up with custom properties and this could be a calc that's this divided by two. I find that's just overcomplicating things for the most part though. Uh, but if you really, really, really need to do it, maybe this is the best solution, um, though I'm not in love with it. And I'd probably just try not to have a height defined on whatever it is I'm putting in there. And I just use some padding and let things do what they need to do. And another thing that I often see people doing actually that's related, I guess, a little bit with height is with widths and where people are declaring widths like width 100% or width 100 VW when it's actually more problematic than a good thing. And, you know, it's just best often there also not to declare a width unless you really need to have one for a very specific reason. And if you'd like to know why that is, I have a very short video that might be of interest to you that you can see right here. And with that, I would like to thank my enablers of awesome who are web on demand, Andrew, Michael, Simon, Tim, and Johnny, as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.